Hi, this is Megan Bax with EXP Realty and the Seabach team. Let's go take a look at the interior. Check out this gorgeous Spanish style door. As you enter, you've got wood look tile and a herringbone pattern in this front entryway. Has six, seven inch modern um, flat baseboard in here. That's kind of a, and you can see the light better with the camera. You've got the three ceiling lights that are gonna allow in a lot of natural light. And then you step down into the living space on either side. Really neat. I love how they've done all this. Let's start on the left and then we'll come back to the more formal space. I would guess some of you might have an interior design degree um, based on the quality of this remodel. You can see they ran um, the quartz all the way up as a backsplash and then they've done the waterfall counters here. I love the really modern, sleek wood look cabinets. You get a Bosch flat range. I'm guessing it's because there's no gas coming in here. I'm gonna get to the view from that sink, don't you worry. Oops, I missed those lights. Um, doo -doo -doo. No gas coming in. So if you wanted to convert, you'd need to go propane. But just look at the view from your kitchen window. Absolutely amazing space out there. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Also Bosch. You got your wine fridge built in over there. Microwave slash convection oven, all Bosch appliances. I mean, this is really a top of the line home finishes. French door, uh, refrigerator as well. It does come with the property. It is split floor plan, so let's take a look at the secondary bedrooms real quick. You've got the linen, and I like that they've maintained, or at least what feels like, the original knob there. It may not be. I've gone in and put recessed lighting. That's going to make that space feel bigger. This was built in 1983, so, you know, a lot of times the ceilings weren't as tall. These are a nice, let's see, at least a 10 foot. You've got these pull-out closet doors. Really neat. And then they've got some nice built-ins in their closets. This is an ensuite. It's not the primary master. You see they've uh, redone the bathroom. It's just beautiful. Floating cabinets, herringbone, backsplash, oiled bronze finishes, faucets. You can see it. And then they've run the, just really a nice design. Friendly shower door. And my guess is they fell in love with something and are closing on that um, on or about the uh, first part of December, which is why they're hoping for that close date. Um, you'll see the whole entire home yard, everything has been redone to the nines except for the master bath. Would be the one thing left to finish and it's pretty original. Um, I love the size of these rooms. I think you'll find as compared to newer homes, they're going to be a lot bigger. You'll see just that really nice wood look tile, wide plank. I would have picked something very similar if it were me. You'll see you've got a nice you know, almost floor to ceiling windows, bringing in a lot of natural light over here. They do have sun shades on a lot of those. I just kind of want to highlight the built-ins and stuff because I think that's really nice storage space and these huge closets. It's so cool to see these um, homes being redone and how unique um, people make them. It's just a lot more character than you find in a lot of neighborhoods built a little bit later. Another benefit of being in this area is the bigger lots. I'm gonna try and slow down and give you a better view of the kitchen and stuff. Here. 
There's that French door you're gonna see when we do the outdoor video coming right off the main uh, owner suite here. Goes out to a flagstone patio and you can see just a great view of your diving pool. I'm trying to hurry this along because there's, um, normally I would open these and walk you through everything, but there's kind of a, a line out there. <laughs> A nice size walk-in with all the built-ins um, here. Really well organized. I'll find out who did the remodel. Um, they probably have a lot of the paperwork and whatnot on that. Also find out the age of the roof and ACs. Those are always the big components. Water heater too, though that's only about a thousand. You can see these are kind of the original height counters. Um, you know, I need to blow my hip. Um, as opposed to an executive height, you've got these older style shell mirrors. They've done some updating with fixtures and faucets and poles, um, but really probably needs to be redone. Here you've got um, your tub, <laughs> and you can see the tile runs up the walls here too, and then into the big walk-in shower with the brass shower door. Again, really nice space, really private. This side yard that al allows in that natural light into here. So much you could do with this. Um, I think I would make uh, the water closet separate um, and then maybe do a giant shower, depending how you live. Um, one of those big walk-in super showers that are so popular now, as opposed to a shower tub combo. It does look like you walk straight out of a magazine. Um, shows really nicely. We didn't anticipate, of course, multiple offers. Everything right now pretty much is. Really cute laundry space. I love, it's a small space, but they've utilized it really well. And what better place to do laundry than looking out onto that? You've got a little utility sink in here still. Plenty of room for your steam mop. Again, offers are due tomorrow by 5 p.m. The curtains in the master bedroom don't convey. I love this. This is the double retractable slider, so that's going to open up two panels worth. One, two. Give you a nice indoor-outdoor flow space to roll into your more formal space. Beehive fireplace. This entertainment center is going to stay because it's built into the wall. <laughs> Flooring was done in 2019. It looks like the AC was new in 2014. So it's only six years old. All right, let me know what you think.